Hey, what's up, dudes? Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to another Dead by Daylight video. Uh, so we gotta cover the 6th anniversary. There was a lot of stuff talked about today. Uh, this is probably one of the best and biggest, uh, streams, or anything, updates, uh, future updates for Dead by Daylight that there's ever been. Uh, there is some very disappointing information in this, but there's some also really good information, and it's disappointing only because of the leaks, right? And we'll get into it, but before we do, uh, the biggest piece of information that we're gonna possibly talk about today, we'll go ahead and get that out of the way right now. Uh, the Dead by Daylight dating sim was real. Yeah, coming this summer. There you go, dudes. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump into the video. So we're gonna go through it, I'm just gonna randomly jump through it, this isn't gonna be in order or anything. We'll, we'll start with the most disappointing stuff first so we can get to the really good things. So, uh, basically this is a giant spoiler for everyone, uh, all of the leaks were real uh unfortunately uh the dredge and haiti cower are the anniversary chapter that is what you can play today on the ptb you can play it right now i'm playing the trailer for you uh fortunately enough the dredge is a really really cool killer design we got a new map with it it's based on the boogeyman so you know it, that's decent i'll take it even though it's not a licensed chapter and it's not going to bring as many people in and it's not going to get the the game soaring to the licensed chapter on the anniversary chapters uh, you know, heights that I think is, is kind of something that it should be, kind of something that they should do, uh, on a yearly basis. Hey man, that's just my opinion. Uh, but either way, it's a really cool killer. It's a really cool chapter. We got a new map with it. You can only complain so much, right? And I'm not one of those channels that just complains and complains and complains. So, I'm gonna be happy with what we got, and I hope you dudes are too. Uh, so the next piece of kind of disappointing, but at the same time, hype information is the Resident Evil Chapter 2 leaks were real. So we are getting, uh, <laughs> according to the leaks, Wesker, Ada Wong, and uh, I think her name's Ashley something. <laughs> I can't remember. I haven't played the Resident Evil 1 game. I'm pretty sure she's from Resident Evil 1 though. So we're getting Ada, we're getting Wesker, and potentially a new Resident Evil map. So, I mean... That's hype, but at the same time, it's disappointing because we knew before the stream, uh, but we know now, and that is the next chapter. So, do with that what you will. The only really disappointing information about that is we know the next chapter, too, because it got leaked with all of this, and I'm not going to spoil that here. Uh, if you want to know, there's a lot of resources out there that you can look for, but yeah. So, that's pretty much the disappointing information out of the way. Uh, disappointing slash hype information. I know it's very weird. I, it's only disappointing because it was leaked like weeks in advance and that's that's still just my opinion but anyway on to the really really good stuff now good uh but not coming for a little bit until summer so prestige now gives all teachable perks now gives the teachable perks for the character that you prestige whether it's killer or survivor on the killers or survivor uh, and it's a tier per prestige so let's say if you guys didn't watch the stream uh, i'll give the example that they gave if you prestige leatherface to level one to prestige one his uh level one teachable perks tier one teachable perks will now be on every killer you will not have to get those in the blood web or anything they're just there and it goes per prestige tier right so prestige tier 2 you'll get the tier 2 perks on every killer prestige tier 3 you'll have the tier 3 perks on every killer the only disappointing thing about that is just get rid of the tiers man just get rid of the perk tiers you cowards get rid of them everybody tells you to get rid of them that you don't need them you know uh, it just adds a lot more to the grind to the game and you're adding new killers and survivors and everything on a three month basis so just get rid of the perk tiers you really don't need them but anyway that's just my opinion there uh, now also some really hype information about prestige uh, and the tiers and everything for prestige this is something that should have been done a very long time ago uh, and a lot of this stuff i, I will say I, again i'm not trying to be the guy that complains about everything i'm really not but this is some this is it's really good but this is some stuff that should have been done a long time ago anyway no items or perks uh, are lost when you prestige now so you can just prestige like infinitely and it does seem to be infinite prestige just now it's not just tier three uh, but you won't lose any items or perks or offerings uh, it seemingly at all so you can just prestige at your will to show your dedication to that character which is great in my opinion now speaking of perks there's also going to be 40 plus perk updates to change things around now this is mainly going to be focused on meta perks 
uh, for Killer and Survivor both. So any perk that you see on a game by game basis, like Dead Hard, as they said, Iron Will, Self Care, stuff like that, and for the Killers, uh, Pain Resonance, uh, Barbecue and Chili, stuff like that, Hex Ruin, it's all changing. So this is really good in my opinion, and there's going to be a lot of perks to go along with that, like they said, 40 plus, and it's coming in summer. This is really good, the meta has been the one thing that's kept me away from the game recently, it's the one thing that keeps a lot of um, veteran players away from the game because it just gets stale. No matter how many survivors and how many killers with how many different killer powers you can play, uh, it, it and perks, it just kind of gets stale because whether you're a survivor, you're kind of expected to run the same few perks if you want to win or if you're even uh inclined to win at all like not even wanting to win but it's hard to say but not wanting to lose i don't think anybody plays a game where winning is an objective and they want to lose and if you are you're weird uh so you know it, it just makes things stale anyway moving on there's now a streamer mode which i blatantly listing in this video because i'm a streamer getting stream sniped or stream hacked sucks so very excited about that now a another big thing which i think is really cool and i i don't no, i'm not necessarily going to say this should have been in the game from the start or uh, it should have been in an update so this is just a really good addition to the game uh mori's you will now auto mori at the end of each match and i don't know uh, how mori's are changing beyond that but uh let's say you killed all three other survivors and then you down the last survivor instead of having to take them to the hook and everything else you will just auto use your mori which is really cool and i would assume that would work even if two survivors or three survivors have escaped and you just downed one of the last survivors or if the gates are open maybe that would be cool a lot of people would bitch about that, but if the gates are open, you down a survivor, you moor them. I think that's really cool, and I think that makes things scary at the end of the game. And I think the Evil Dead, the game, has done something like that. At the end of the game, usually you would go down, but when you're at the end, when the demon's trying to destroy the, the Necronomicon, um, that in that situation, if you go down, you die. And I think that is something really good for them that helps balance out the game. It gives the killer a chance at the end, the Kandarian demon a chance at the end. And I think auto mooring when the gates are open uh, gives the killer in Dead by Daylight a chance. It makes it a little bit more scary for the survivors. So I hope that's a part of that. A lot of people would get mad about that but they'll get used to it. There's also an archive update. Uh, take both survivor and killer challenges. Cannot waste time. This is something that should have been done from the start. I will say that again. Uh, as soon as this feature came out, the archive came out, this is something that should have happened. I cannot count the amount of times that I would be playing survivor and had a killer challenge and didn't realize and then forgot after the game and vice versa. This is something that should have been done, but I'm glad it's finally here. You're not wasting your time anymore and that's great. And now like the last big thing is DBDX attack on Titan. Now, as I said on Twitter, if you guys want to follow me over there, I was kind of like live tweeting uh, the stream. Uh, I'm not a big fan of anime or manga or anything. I'm the I've only watched Dragon Ball Z guy when it comes to anime. I've never seen another anime. And to be honest, I don't really plan on it. It's just not something that grabs my goat, unfortunately. But I know a lot of people are excited. And if the skins are cool, then the skins are cool and I might buy them. Uh, I, like I said, a lot of people are excited. I'm not particularly excited, but it's great for the people that are. Anyway, in wrapping up, I think most of these things are good. Minus maybe the dating sim. Eee, what the hell's the point in that? Anyway, to each their own. Uh, I think everything from this stream was really, really good. The updates that we're getting, the new chapters, two new chapters announced in one anniversary stream. That's nuts. The only disappointing thing, as I said, is it, you know, it got leaked weeks in advance. Uh, at least uh, a week in advance, which blows. And, uh, you know, there's some changes here that should have been, you know, a long time ago. But it was a long time coming, and I'm just glad we finally got them. So, that's hype. Anyways, I want you guys to let me know what you think about this update in the comments down below. All of these updates, because they're, it's not just going to be packed into one. A few of these things will be packed into one, uh, but they will not all be coming at the same time. So, we are going to be waiting for this. They are saying summer, so I guess we'll see. We will see. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. That's going to do it for me, dudes. My name is Tootin. I've been your host, and I will see you dudes next time. Peace out.